up just a little bit because Rachel Gottlieb from the Buffalo Zoo here is here to talk about the newest addition over at the zoo. But before we get into that, we're going to talk about what's sitting in your lap right now because you brought <laughs> us Barney. This is Barney. You know, he wanted, he heard I was coming and he wanted to come down and join me. So he's a ball python and um, he's part of our education department over at the zoo so people can come and visit him there. And I'm a little upset that Barney doesn't have a little Christmas hat like you do. I think <laughs> well, that would have been I've the perfect. Well, you know what, I tried to put one on him, but he kept taking it off, so. All right, so let's get to the thing that everybody is talking about, and sure. that is the newest addition to the Buffalo Zoo, mm -hmm. and this is a pretty big deal. It's a, yeah. it's a brand new lion. Brand new lion, his name is Tiberius. He comes to us from the Seneca Park Zoo over in Rochester, so not too far. Um, and he came to us um, on a breeding recommendation, so we're hoping in the future that we'll have some little baby lions, we're not sure. Um, he is a year and nine months old, and he is awesome. And we were talking about what he looks like. I haven't been over there to check him out yet. We're looking at a picture. But you described it in terms of the Lion King, which I thought right. was pretty cool. So that's kind of the, the ongoing joke around the zoo is that he looks like the scene in the Lion King when Simba is transitioning from a cub to an adult. So he's he doesn't look like a full adult. His mane looks more like a mohawk. It's a little shaggy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So let's talk about the breeding recommendation because okay. I think that's something that a lot of people will be interested. How does this kind of work out? So it's what's called a, an SSP, which is a species survival plan, and um, it's kind of a, a partnership between all zoos that are accredited by the AZA. And um, basically they look at all the animals in zoos and determine who would be the best genetic match for uh, breeding. So that's how he came to us. And on a scale from one to Luna, Luna being the most exciting cub born at the Buffalo Zoo, where would a baby lion fit? How well, rare is this happening in it's captivity? It's not quite as rare as polar bears, but it's still pretty rare and it would be a really big deal. So, Equally as exciting. Yeah, though. and it would be really adorable too. And since we're on the topic of babies, of course, we did just welcome a brand new giraffe baby to yes, the Buffalo Zoo. Yes, baby Samson. How is Samson doing? He's great and he is so cute. And he is in our giraffe house, so if people want to come and visit him, he's there to see. And um, Tiberius is there to see too. And we have all kinds of cute animals that are um, out. People don't realize that we're open in the winter, so they can come and see them. And I have to say, one of the cool things about going to the zoo in the winter is because it's a little bit cooler, it's not mm -hmm. so hot, a lot of the animals are pretty active. Yeah, they actually do move around a lot. Um, people don't expect to see um, some of our animals, especially you know the big cats, that maybe they don't expect to be active in cold weather, but they really are, and it's so fun to watch them. And if a family wants to spend some quality time bonding over at the zoo, maybe mm -hmm. it could be a special holiday trip. Yeah. What are your hours look for the next couple well, of weeks? Well, we, uh, we do close early today for Christmas Eve, and we're closed on Christmas Day, but otherwise we're open our regular hours. All right, perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming in. <laughs> sure. And, of course, you have to send our best regards to Samson, <laughs> Luna, Kelly, all I'll of our friends. I'll tell them all you friends. say hi. And thank you so much, Barney. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but right now we're going to change gears and send it back to the kitchen.